Hi there, welcome back. This time, I'm going to show you how to create these gradient color wipe transitions in DaVinci Resolve. With help of the essential animated background effect, this can be easily done directly in the edit page. As usual, you can find the template link in the description below. For this demo, I have put a few images on the timeline. Add an animated background clip to above the images. Usually a transition takes about one second. But for the demo today, let's change the duration to two seconds and align it with the end of the first image. Go to the inspector and change the type to gradient. Enable the fusion overlay in the viewer. Change the start and end points so it turns into a color bar. In the inspector, change the starting color to black. And set the ending color to transparent. Enable the animation. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the background clip. Change the offset so the color stripe goes out of the screen entirely. Move the playhead to the end of the clip. Increase the animation speed until the black color takes the full screen. Play the clip. The color bar is now animated, moving from left to right and wiping off the image. We can change the ease in and out options to make the animation more dynamic. or change the curve mode to custom and use the mini spline editor to modify the animation curve however we like. For this demo, we set this back to the default easing mode. Switch to the video settings tab. Change composite mode to alpha. When it's set to this mode, the clip will act like a traveling mat. Move the second image to the top and align with the background clip. And in the inspector, change the composite mode to foreground. In this mode, it works together with matte underneath and produces a masked result. As the matte is set to alpha channel, when it changes from transparent to solid, it reveals the image above. Play the timeline and we got a wiping transition, but without the colors. To add the color bar as part of the transition, Alt-drag the background clip to create a copy and place it on the top. Go to the inspector, change the starting color to transparent. This looks good, we now have a color wiping transition. With the color gradient bar, we can change the color pattern to anything we like. For example, change them to solid color bars. Or add more gradient color stops. We can also go to the video settings tab. Lower the opacity to make the color bar semi-transparent. If we want to create another color wiping transition between the second and third image, we can make a copy of the background clip. Align to the end of the second image. This time, we want to wipe from right to left. So we move the start point to the right side and adjust the angle. Move the playhead to the beginning. Adjust the offset, so that the color bar is just off the screen on the right side. Move to the end. Adjust the speed, so the bar is out of the screen from the left. Make a copy and place it underneath. Make sure the composite mode is set to alpha. Move the third clip 
and align with the background clip. Looks like there is no transition from image 2 to image 3. That's because both the start and end colors are set to transparent. Select the ending color on the gradient bar, set the alpha to 1 so it turns solid black. When the color bar moves to the left, the matte is changing from black to completely transparent. As the masking result, the second image is wiped off the screen, revealing the third image. Now we have a color transition wiping from right to the left. Now let's take a look at how we can use other gradient types to create different transition styles. Select the first transition background, change the gradient type to reflect. Go to the beginning of the clip. We can delete the existing matte clip, as we will create a new matte for the transition. Reset the offset value. And the color bars are now mirrored on the other side of the starting point. Move the start point to the center. Reduce the offset so that the bar disappears. Move to the end of the clip. Change the animation speed so the bars are just off the screen from both sides. The animation is now becoming a center wiping out effect. Alt drag to the clip to create a copy and put it below the image. Change the starting color back to a solid black. Great, we now have a center wiping out color transition. Similarly, we can repeat the steps to create a square wiping transition with square type. A cross wiping with cross gradient type. Or a circle wiping transition using the radial type. If we want to have an inverted wiping effect, such as wiping in circles, we can reset the offset. Check the reverse option. And adjust the offset when the playhead is at the beginning so that the circle bars are outside the screen. Go to the end. Change the animation speed so that it disappears from the middle. Delete the previous matte clip. Duplicate the clip and put underneath. Change the ending color to solid black. Make sure it's set to alpha mode. Now we have an inverted center color wipe transition. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.